Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. Today is Monday, so I'm continuing on with my modern Monday shaves. This is episode number two, and in this segment, I uh, demonstrate and test out various uh, modern razors, which includes uh, cartridges and um, disposables. And also compare them against um, traditional DE and SE razors. Today's razor we're going to test out is the um, Gillette Sensor 3. I bought this in a, it comes in an 8 pack for $5.75. So on special, actually, you're still on special at the moment. Uh, so that's less than, I think it's about 70 cents or so um, per razor, which is pretty good value. Anyway, I've already got the pre-shave on, which is, we're continuing on with our NAC close pre-shave. And I've got my leather whipped up in my um, Talina Rogers bowl and main bowl. Right, we'll just wet the face and um, put the first layer on. Oh, there we go. The brush I'm using is a Billy Goat Brushworks brush. called Sunfire. You won't be able to see it because it's all covered in leather at the moment, but I'll, I'll quickly show you at the end when I do the um, summary. And the so easy, we're continuing with the Platinum from uh, Tobbs, Taylor of Old Bond Street. It's a cream. Lovely, makes a lovely leather. The knot in this is a little bit firmer than my preference, but it's okay. Not in the brush. It's a Lansky Generation 5 knot. And very similar to other Generation 5 knots, they're a bit uh, backbony, got a fair amount of backbone, but with soft tips. Alright, the razor we've got here, so uh, I've still got the cover on, I'll just take the cover off. The protective cover, so it's a three blade. Disposable. Now I haven't got much growth, I've only got a about a 32 hour growth in my last shave, so I do have some stubble, but not a lot. Straight away, I can tell you that it doesn't tug as much, if at all, compared to the uh, the Chic Extreme Three. This is a smoother, more comfortable shave for me. Uh, wide range of swivel about 40 degrees according to the 
specifications. And it's got a, was it? A comfort gel strip, which adds to the slickness when I spread, spread it around the face. It's a lovely scent from this uh, platinum. Very traditional, manly scent. Sorry about the uh, the bin. I'll just turn that off. Oh, I can't. My hands are wet. Just hope we don't bing too much. Okay, across the grain. The grip on the Extreme 3 is better, the handle grip, than this one. But it's not too bad. Just doing a nice light touch around the neck. There's a little bit of tugging. Not as much as the Extreme 3 that I found, and, and doesn't feel like an uncomfortable tug. Oops, sorry, I'm going against, not against the grain yet. Going across the grain. So those strips, the uh, gel strips, are annoying, but they do add to the the residual. It's very slippery after the uh, razor goes over the face. So I just leave it on. More slickness to marry out. Leather, you can see it's about a medium density, medium. I find a lot of creams give a medium density leather. Medium to high. Beautiful. OK, 
Okay, against the grain. You can see the goo there. <laughs> That's annoying. Even though it helps, I, I can live without it. I will be, mm, I may not be. Just take the glasses off, get underneath. Nice light touch around the neck. Now, because I've only got a light growth, there'll be no problems with clogging. So I haven't been, I won't be able to test the clogging problem or whether there's a clogging problem with the razor. But a lot of people use cartridges on a daily basis, so clogging shouldn't be a problem. Again, a nice, quite a low profile head. Easy to get it around the nose and into the nostrils. Like I said in the last video, I'm trying not to do any against the grain too much, again, on the upper lip here. Just to get the hairs over the top of the lip. Quite a comfortable shave. Glasses off again. Oops, other side. It's pretty good. Like I said, there's plenty of residual on the strip and the soap added together. Just need to keep it wet. quite a comfortable shave actually. More so than the Extreme 3 for me. 
Of course, your morals may vary. But I'm, I can only rate them against what I am. Uh, I'm achieving. So for me, this is a better razor to shave with, well, as far as comfort is concerned, than the Chic 3. Chic Extreme 3, which is this one here. Compare the handles. You can see the Extreme 3 is a more chunkier handle. So you do get a, a nicer grip with this one but I get a less comfortable shave. Well, this one's not too bad. All right, all rinse off. There's plenty of slickness left over. The skin from the combo of the comfort strip and the leather. Just tap down, quickly put the alum over, I'm not, I'm not expecting too much. Just some little, little tingle here. No sharp tingles. Just mild stuff. Beautiful. Quite a comfortable shape actually. Now I have used uh, this before, normally I get about four or well, five shaves out of it before it um, becomes uh, uncomfortable. So not too bad value compared to a D. Alright, I'll go and have my shower now and come back and do my uh, post shaving summary. Okay, we're back from the shower. Lovely shave. I don't feel any irritations showing up. Beautiful. So we'll go straight into the post shave. Bit of witch hazel with some menthol crystals mixed in. Fine shave. Just my normal spots, so not a BBS. Just along here, still not close. Not as close as it can be. And we're going to put on a bit of Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. So while well, that's soaking in, the razor we used was the um, Gillette Sensor 3 Comfort, it's called, disposable, with the gel strip, I think it's called, comfort gel strip or something similar to that. And the brush we used was my Billy Goat Sunfire with the lovely Lansky 26mm for soft tips and quite a bit of backbone, got a firm backbone. Uh, the soap we used was the uh, it's all shiny. It's a Taylor of Old Bond Street uh, Platinum Edition. We use the Talina Rogers hand potted leathering bowl. Bit on a small side for me. Uh, 
I added uh, water to the lather build with this uh, 20 mil syringe. We used a NAC close brush to scream as, as a um, brush, as the pre-shave. And that's it. Final ingredient. We're going with the Clubman Pinard for the aftershave. Just a little bit stings. You might have noticed I've also did my hair cut today as well. Now I can't put it on top of my head because I've got um, uh, some cream used for sun to uh, get rid of the uh, sun affected skin. Alright, that's my shave today. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll catch you on the next shave. Now, I won't be doing these shaves every Monday, but uh, we'll see how we go.